Hi, I'm Jason Buck. I work with Remax Estate Properties. My office is actually just like a hop, skip, and a jump from here, right past the Malaga Cove Library, which is right over there. And this is Via Panali. And we're at 2425 Via Panali. This is a historic area of Malaga Cove. Some really neat homes that were originally built a long time ago. And it has a few peacocks, as there's a peacock out in the street there. Um, and it's just really a fabulous property. It could use some work. You could kind of turn it into this one um, because this is very similar where they have the uh, downstairs garage and they move the garage out and turn it into living space. But let's take a look and see what we got. So our driveway goes down. The garage is underneath the house on the other side. We got all this beautiful stuff here. We have hiking trails all up in there. It's awesome. But this is a gorgeous street in, Low in Malaga Cove area. And uh, this is mostly original right now, but it, it's ready and it's just so easy to make some changes here. So big living room. One thing that I was so super duper excited about were these floors. These floors are gorgeous and pretty much brand new. I don't think they were ever walked on. So the person who bought this home put in carpet and they called it a day. So the floors are absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Um, and you move through past your fireplace into this. This would probably be formal dining with the access to the patio. And then here's your kitchen. Pretty, uh, it was updated from the original construction. And you've got the opportunity to have the patio here and some ocean view, which is really, really nice. But you could uh, figure out what you would be able to do here in terms of the city. Now, here we come to our backyard on the edge of the lot. And so the driveway comes down around and then the garage is over here. So what they did on this property, it was very similar, but reverse. So they came down and garage was over there. Um, they converted that into living, made a new garage and then extended a little bit out. So theoretically you should be able to do that here, extend a little bit out, they even did the uh, uh, above and they remodeled it all. It's gorgeous. So good ocean view from here. Not super big, but enough. Um, and that's really, really nice. So condition here, this is looking really good. Let's go back to the front. Some nice plantation shutters on this. Here's our front. Here's your main hallway. But let's look at these other rooms. So this would be considered a bedroom. It has a closet and it has a bath. This is a Jack and Jill. So both um, bedrooms would use this bathroom. And I believe the hardwood is under here as well. So this is your room. And then this is what the closet looks like. Not huge, but a closet and well set up. So this is that main hallway. And this goes into your dining. Here's your other bathroom. Now, there's no real master bath here, but you did have the Jack and Jill. So if you don't mind guests using your master bath, or perhaps you would have them use the Jack and Jill, if they go through a bedroom, you could probably seal this off here uh, to create a, a master entrance and then reconfigure to make a master suite, which then you would have uh, some view looking out to the other side, right? So. That's pretty exciting and interesting. Now, I gotta go down to explain the rest. So what's interesting here is that you have an opportunity to reconstruct some of this um, and turn this garage into living space and maybe lower some of what we're here. If you dig this down to this level and you have sewer here that runs out this way. Oh, look at this. There's a peacock. It's fanning for us. <coughs> Looking for a mate. That is so cool. Isn't that pretty? <coughs> Alright, well anyway, sorry for the distraction. Um move your garage, build a new garage over there, level this out, new garage, and then convert this into living space. Um, not totally hard, especially when other people do it, and just so much opportunity. Um, you could probably go past this wall if you talk to an engineer and figure out the shoring, um, what they would need to do. 
There is space back here. I don't know how far you could go. It's hard to see, um, but there is space this way. So you have a bathroom here. You have laundry here and a shower. So if you dug this down to make the height correct, then it's conceivable that you could create some rooms here. So um, hard to tell right now, but I think it's totally doable. Um, and it's just gonna require a bit of work. Here's your water heater. Boy, that would be hard to get in and out in this current location, but that's how they did it. So um, definitely some opportunity here to create something. And uh, you know, this location is outstanding. You don't get better than this. You're right off Malaga Cove Plaza, easy access off the hill um, or down to the beach if you choose. I mean, this is just amazing. So I like this place. Um, if you want more information or you wanna talk to me about it, give me a call. I'm happy to help. And um, I really appreciate you watching and leave me a comment or tell your friends um, about how awesome these videos are or my knowledge of Palos Verdes as I love to talk about why this is such a beautiful place to live. So thanks a lot for watching and make it a great day. I'm just gonna hang out with him for a minute. <laughs>